R.B. Kitai, Ron Kitai, the artist, long resident in England and then presently living out in California. Uh, he had, was going to be working with um, Gemini. Had, uh, they wanted him to do something. And so he had asked me if I could give him some kind of a text to use as a base for working. He was distracted and just wanted something to, much as I might, something to get moving with. So I had been trying to work using a daily, a day book, kind of a daily format. I hadn't as yet um, figured out quite what I wanted to do with it, but I was at this point I was simply writing a page a day. But I wasn't writing a page a day so as you know to keep keep up keep up my terrific abilities. I was writing a page a day just to see what a page a day would uh, would, would add up to, and I thought thirty days and see what happens. So that's what um, a day book became, and then. I thought, well, I'll, 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 I'll use it in, in a, um, yeah, I'll, I'll, that's what I gave him, frankly, is the text. Let me therefore read just a bit of that to give a sense of what he, uh, he then becomes engaged with. This is the entry, or the, the prose written February 1st, uh, 1969. <coughs> Bar talk. Bartok, just the same thing. In this case, like the piano scenes he'd write for children, kids you might say, play like the bear walks through that forest and woof woof. Not like that, but of course the drunken bear dances in crazy cadenzas and in the bar the light falls, goes the length of that long wooden surface. You could scream at them, hey, let's play Bartok. One of those middle Europeans had joy in his heart. All serious people end up being serious. All whites white, all blacks black, so they say. Intellectuals are people who got sex in the head, would Lawrence say, because they can't get it up or once up, down. There was a story told years ago and last night repeated about Orwell was in a bar with working people, ordered drink for working man next to him, a pint which is supposed to be read as question, no, says he. Have to get out of here soon. A half pint will do, says Orwell. But that's not what people of your class want. It's a pint or nothing. It really is nothing. The syntax all dislocated. No working man would be that patient to hear the end. It must be the person does, even unintentionally, precede the definition. Now pay attention to your class, which must be Aristotle again. Play with your own kind. But they won't talk to me, much less indulge in games with me. Never you mind, those are your people. But they got a funny look to them. Never mind, them's it for you, young man. Oh, is that what I am? Or is? What is that on you? I is your ma. Well, not like that. I'm your mother. Whence from which and to for your eyes are decently averted. Not look at your own mother, but instead at them dirty things. Keep to your kind, lad, not do to mix. Buddy's comment upon Max, who had told Julie, yellow bird he called her that once too, when the revolution comes, or he must have had use of another vocabulary, not such a dull one, like wind the clock, it's the end of the week, payday sort of stuff, no revolution there. Oh dear, the wheel's going round. No, he said, when the revolution comes, you've got to go, all your sort, blonde Aryans, or whatever term he used to describe, of course, the very delightful blue-eyed, blonde-haired softness of her person, no less her heart, dear, very sweet girl she was always, in all the confusions she did experience with men, source of all evil, they only want one thing, but circumstances which needed her first time met in fog. That haze of L.A. stopped for a moment at the intersection, turning on the roach passing round, Look out to see the car adjacent, shades, glasses, also shades, also turning on with the white-headed, white-gloved, possibly policeman in the middle of said intersection. Get the hell out of there. That's revolution. Later, had she come home then or been there all the time, like out in fields, somehow a town of oil derricks, a house, someone, the wife was it, 
is passing a plate of pot and some opium, smoke, and the master of the house, an incredible and serious young man person, plays baritone, onk, onk, and crazy guttural underride of sounds. He should live in the cellar, but at least no neighbors. Drive home, their home, Julie's, through L.A. to drive two Porsches back to Albuquerque, race and buddy and him. This was Yellowbird, instant love, therefore, and also her sweet, shrewd husband, Manny, a local boy, played trumpet. Later, in crazy dinge of NY, was waiter, sat in, you dig, on relaxed occasions with the band. All that. No, comes the revolution, baby, you got to go. Despite subsequent hook of junk, another husband, bullfighter, at least on the way, all the way she went, each time with must have been physical condition, just as much as the toothache she has, first meeting, all her lovely mouth swollen, so sweet, like a bee stung, like bar talk, bar none. Max, you play it. Tell how make her the one meets the edge, no color, but her the so-called victim. Would rather kick a dead horse, that is, he'd understand. She comes back, tells Buddy in perplexity, but Max says, comes the revel, which is the misspelling, the revolution, I have to go. Like your mother's calling, all into damn well fade now. Max freaked on speed, but not to pose like libel-like. He was never the one. 